fight your fight up. Big place, make way. I'm on the job with no delay. Huge flames, go away. When I show up to save the day, I never get tired. When it comes to putting up fires, I've got the skills, I know the drills. Those flames won't go no higher, cause I'm a fire fighter. Wiley and Gage? I already came up with the perfect plan, Flash, and it failed. Twice. Ugh. Reese. So you're gonna give up just because one plan didn't work out? It wasn't one plan, Flash. It was the best plan I've ever come up with. Until you come up with your next one, buddy. So your plan didn't land, Bo. It's not a crime. My plan's crashed to get smashed for a lack of the time. But I know how to flow when the plan goes wrong. So don't sweat it. You'll get it. Just sing this song. Bounce back when your plan falls through. Bounce back. Dream of something new. Bounce back. But what am I supposed to do? Just kick back and I'll spell it out for you. When Carcel spilled his yellow, did it break his heart? No, it changed up his game and made some hubcap. So we both drop your old plan, use your mind, sit down, look around, see what you can find. Ah, this grease! Yeah, it's slippery. Sure is. Wait a minute, flash grab that can, I just hatched a new plan. I am gonna bounce back when my plan fell through. Bounce back, I dreamt up something new. Bounce back. Made a puzzle I couldn't solve. Let's see. You go here, and you go there. Okay, while Jaden's doing that, we need an action plan. Piston and I can nail the pieces together. Then we'll lift the ramps up. And Violet and I can bolt them in place. Wham bam, perfect plan. If it works, solved it.
okay, buddy? Yeah. Bo, we can still fix it. How? The same way you all rescued me. By working together. The way we should have done it to begin with. Really? I'm ready to design a new plan when you are. Just say the word. Oh, I could do more than say it. We can build a clubhouse in a tree If we all work in harmony Gotta stick to a plan where we all lend a hand Cause we're stronger than ever when we work together We can build a clubhouse in a tree If we all work in harmony That is some treehouse. <laughs> Who came up with the design? We all did. Let's roll, let's roll, firebugs, firebugs, let's roll! Hmm, are they supposed to be cold? No, they're supposed to be piping hot. Well, we can still play break badminton. Yeah, let's do it! This game sure has a lot of rules. I know. Isn't it great? Vroom ha ha. Got it. All right, let's keep playing. Vroom ha ha. Now we score. No. If it bounces off the other player, you have to yell boom doggle, remember? Unless the player's left foot or tire is off the ground. <sighs> Ah, uh, we're gonna get it. I promise. Your serve, Violet. I got it! I got it! <laughs> Sorry! Let's roll, let's roll, firebugs! Firebugs, let's roll! Ow! I'm your not-so-scary werewolf guy. Are you ready for some Halloween fun? Yeah! Totally! No, thank you. It looks scary. Ah, don't worry, Bang. It's not scary at all. It'll be fun. You'll see. Uh-uh. What if Zip and I go through the house first? Then we can tell you what it's like. Okay. Great. We'll be right back. Let's do this. All are welcome to roll inside the not-so-haunted house, where sort of spooky fun awaits. <laughs> Someone else is here. Huh? Caught you in the act, Jazzy. We didn't steal anything. 
We just heard a noise outside. And let's make sure your inventions were safe. Yeah, safely stolen. You know, Jaden, there are some strange tire tracks. I'm telling you, Bo, Jazzy is the thief. Jaden, isn't that your... <laughs> collapsible trapsable? Huh, it trapsable us. No, I trapsabled you. Wiley Wiley and her equally important roommate, Gage. She has your night vision goggles. That's right, which made it so much easier to steal your little trap thingy. Wait, you stole my goggles? Sure did. I used one of my hair clips to open the lock. You mean this hair clip? I was wondering where that went. I told you I didn't do it. But lucky for me, your big brother didn't listen. Come on, Gage. Let's see what other gizmos of theirs can become gizmos of ours. Later, taters. Oh, Jazzy. There were all these clues, but I didn't pay attention to them because you took my stuff before. Borrowed? Right, borrowed. You really hurt my feelings. I know, and I'm really sorry. Do you know why I borrow your stuff? Because my stuff's mega cool? Because you're mega cool. Sometimes I just wish you'd play with me. Like, hello, Jaden, I'm right here, and I could really use some help to fit in the galaxy. You think I'd stand a chance against Flarg? Zarg. And he's easy to beat if you can get the blaster out of his hand. <gasps> I know how to get us out of here. What? How did you? She took your Jane ring again. Yeah, but when you consider the clues, I think she's just borrowing it. Zark! I mean, Wiley! Yeah? What's that in your hand? This? It's just the remote for the trap you're all stuck in. <laughs> Take that, Wiley! <gasps> <sighs> Oh, nice shot! Let's roll, Firebug! Got him! Jaden, how long? Uh, time to make our exit gate. Sorry, this exit is closed. after bedtime. We can ask Mom and Dad to put out an alert. <laughs> Thanks for saving us, Jazzy. It's what I do. Thanks for letting me borrow your j -Marine. <laughs> Maybe you should hang on to it. Might come in handy tomorrow when we defend the galaxy. <gasps> Welcome to the team, Space Officer Jaden. Well, the stakeout may be done, but we could still finish the sleepover. We do have plenty of snacks. <laughs> You two want to join us? Yeah. I mean, we probably should. I may have borrowed your favorite pillow. Kinda in a hurry? That's the problem. You're driving way too fast. <laughs> You're too young to give out speeding tickets. It's not a ticket. It's a list of driving safety rules. Like obey traffic signs. That one means be careful. The road ahead is very curvy. We know what it means. We just don't care. 
<laughs> safety rules? <laughs> yeah, who needs safety rules? <laughs> You could have warned us about the curvy road. I did. Yeah, but we weren't listening. So are you going to rescue us or what? What's the magic word? Abracadabra? Please? We're on it. Huddle up, Firebuds. So how do we get him off that ledge? We can use my winch and tow line. I'll toss it down to them, and Axel can pull him up. Perfect. Mm. Wait, the cliff edge looks crumbly. You should back up, Axel. Remember, safety first. But we don't know how long the ledge will hold up under all that weight. We gotta pull them up fast. Those right, let's do this. Todd, attach the hook to your bumper. Okay, they landed on the ledge with Iggy and Rod. That doesn't sound too okay to me. I told you the edge was crumbly. Here's your tow line back. Let's roll, let's roll, fire bus. Fire bus, let's roll! This can be our next June tube story. Schoolmates search swamp for savage SUV. Hey, June, can I talk to you a second? Sure. There's something I don't get. You said Big Tread had spikes on his front grill and came up to your face and jumped over you. But your video just showed him driving away through the trees. We couldn't even see his girl. Right, because uh, all that happened before we started filming. Then why didn't you mention it in your story to begin with? Well, I... Uh... Are you making all this up? Not on purpose. I thought we saw Big Tread, but then Miss Coolidge told us it was just Toro the Park Ranger. Then why didn't you tell us? I was going to. But then I saw how much everyone loved my story, and I just couldn't. But they're all out there searching now. You gotta tell them the truth. Come on, I'll go with you. Wait, Bo, you have to understand. Ever since I was a little girl, I dreamt of telling stories to the whole wide world. Now I finally have one that's got friends delighted. How can I take it back? When they're so excited On June Tube You will be in the know On June Tube If you just watch my show On June Tube You will see my point of view You'll learn the best Of what is new Come on, June! We're gonna miss out on the big cred hunt! Hold on! I am glad that your show was a hit, but your tale isn't true, in fact you must admit, you gotta tell the truth before they get in trouble. So let's get to the marsh, and tell them on the double. Maybe you're right, and I should come clean before things get out of control. Tell them the truth, yeah I see what you mean. Come on Bo, I'm ready. Tell them the truth. Oh, there she is. There is something I need to tell you. We can't find him. Yeah, where should we look? Where did you spot him? Tell us. Spill it. Tell us. Right this way. Oh, June. Let's roll, let's roll, firebugs. Firebugs, let's roll. Hey, we got a ton of extra blankets in case you need any. We don't, but maybe some of our other neighbors do. Hey. We should organize a supply swap in the town circle. Totally. People can bring any extra supplies they have to share. And folks who are low on supplies can come and get what they need. Wham, bam, perfect plan. Let's go spread the word, buds. We'll help you set up the swap at the town circle. And bring our extra blankets. But we were going to make pillow forts with those. 
Your friends brought us emergency supplies. The least we can do is share what we have. Fine. But I'm not going out in the cold to give our stuff away. Me neither. Why am I not surprised? All right, you two can stay here, but I'm very disappointed. Shah, it's a real bummer. All right, buds, let's boogie. We can help out anyone in need if we all work in harmony. We can do. Hey, Rod, do you see what I see? A bunch of cars freezing their tailpipes off. More oil shakes and snacks. Let's cruise. See, this is what Bayanihan is all about. Everyone helping each other. Well, not everyone is helping. They're just taking things and not giving anything back. Well, I'm sure Iggy and Rod will discover what it means to be a good neighbor. Someday. I'll believe it when I see it. It'll be easier for all of us to pull the statue off of Axel. We just need a rope. One rope coming up. Now let's tie one end to the statue. On it. Now I'll just use my trusty J-hook to launch this end over that branch. I'll go catch it. Come on, everyone. Help me pull. I don't get it, Axel. Why'd you save us? Yeah, it's not like we've done anything nice for you. I guess it's like Bo said. We have to help all our neighbors because we're all in this together. Okay, everyone, on three. One, two, three! <laughs> you need to lift it higher. I still can't get out. Uh, we're gonna need more help. Count us in! All right, grab on and get ready. Now, pull! Yeah. It's too muddy! My wheels are just spinning! Way to help out, my dudes. We're proud of you. Thanks for helping save me. Well, thanks for saving us. And giving us emergency kits. Twice. Twice. Now that everyone's okay, how would you two like to help us with the supply swap? I suppose we can help for a little while. We're all in this together, I guess. Way to save the day! 
Look at that, Carly. Axel and Violet can take out a bunch of robots. And I can't even push buttons right. Everyone makes mistakes sometimes. But I make them all the time. It's locked. Can you open it for us, Harry? I can try. Let's see, um, 93, 10, 4, 17. Oh, no. Not again. Not again what? Hello. You have switched on the hugging hallway. Well, that sounds nice. Prepare to be hugged and squeezed into happy little pancakes. Not nice. Not nice! Flash! Piston! Help me stop the walls! Must be wires controlling this thing somewhere. Aha! Uh -huh. Let's see. I think I just need to pull this wire. Nope, wrong wire. Uh, uh, we need a new plan. I know, my spike strip usually pops bad guys' tires, but in this case. Now I just need to get in their computer system and... Bam! Open says me. <sighs> Sorry, buds. I wish I wasn't so clumsy. Ah, uh, don't worry about it, Harry. We made it out just fine. If you huh? thought you made it out just fine, think again. You've reached the staircase of surprises. Ooh, I like surprises. <laughs> No more surprises! No more surprises! We can get past this stairway, Flash. Give me your hose. Now blast it and go. Everyone, follow us! Take that, surprise ducky! Yes! They made it! Did you hear that? What's this doing on the floor? Wait, look! If the cake is here, the exit must be back that way. Then all we need to do is find Harry and Carly and tow the cake out of here. Well, what do we have here? Looks like a bunch of fire buds in a trap. We're not in a trap. <laughs> okay, now we're in a trap. <laughs> Oh, what a day. The perfect crime, the perfect cake, and we caught the fire buds. What more could we ask for? Another slice of perfect cake? <gasps> to the cake room! You know, this would be more fun if we actually ate cake. You said it. I'm so, so sorry. I blew it again. It's okay, Harry. You can make it up to us. Just find a way to shut off the trap. What's the point? I'd probably just trip or slip and make things worse. Let's face it, I can't do anything right. Everyone's good at something. You simply haven't found your thing yet, but you will. Ooh, maybe there's a code in that manual you're using that can turn off the trap. Wayne took the manual with him. Yeah, but now that you mention it, I saw something called the laser trap shutoff code. It was 2352 Whoa, you remembered all those numbers after seeing them once? Yeah, so? I think we just found what you're good at. So tap those buttons. But what if I slip and hit the wrong ones? Just tell me the numbers and I'll press the buttons. Okay, it's 23, 52, 39, and 67. Six. Oh yeah! Huh, I guess we did. I knew we would. I don't feel so good. Too much cake. Too much crime, if you ask me. What? How did you get them, buds? Come on, Wayne! Let's go, Wiley! Oh. Oh. It's every car for themselves! Later, Wayne! Gotcha! The thing I remember from this holiday is helping you fix up the sled for the race. And watching you go out and rescue your friends. These are the moments I don't want to end. So don't feel like you gotta win me a prize. We have all we need right in front of our eyes. The present I want isn't fancy or fine. I'd much rather have the gift of your time.
Kitty, come on down now. I hope she doesn't fall. Axel, if you lift me up, I can grab that pole and fetch Dynamo. I won't have to use my foot at all. We have to hurry before she falls. All right, but be careful. Uh. Huh. Uh. 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 Whoa, <laughs> she looks like a kid-sized kablammy up there. Sunshine, I have done some far out stunts in my day, but you are out of sight. Oh, I was so worried. You know, with her hurt foot and all. Hold up, she's hurt? Sunshine, stop right where you are. Call for help, now. Fire buds, Violet needs help at Mr. Kablammy's house. Manny, she's still going. You should not be bouncing around like that if you're hurt. I'm fine. Watch this move. It's not safe. There's too many holes. Okay, buds. We need a plan to rescue Violet and that kitty. Quick! My J-Hook can launch a cable up there that she could slide down. But Violet's hurt. So we'll attach Axel's gurney to the cable. Then Violet can get in the gurney and slide down safely. If she listens to us and doesn't try to do it herself. Maybe she'll listen to me. Can I borrow that megaphone, Junior? Okay. Time to rev it up and go, go, go! Oh, no, no, no! We're that same sort of breed, folks got that need for speed. It's clear to me you love to zoom around. But here's something that I've learned where owies are concerned. Before you rev it up again, you got to slow it down, yeah! If you find you got a name, then it's time to take a break. If you find your you got a bad boo-boo, you gotta take care of you. You gotta take care of you. But you would never rest, you always give your best. No bumper spray could ever hold you back. Well, I got news for you that isn't really true. So let me take a moment now to set you back on track. Why do you think I needed my groceries delivered? You got hurt? Oh, yeah. And this isn't the first time. I've sprained my shoulder, banged up my leg, tweaked my back. But after each injury, I took care of myself until I healed up. Oh. Oh, let me tell you now. When I found I had a knee, I made sure to take a break. All of you. Here's your cat, Mr. Kablammy. Oh, thanks a million, Sunshine. Anytime. Axel, we better head to the hospital. I think I made my ankle worse. I've spent a lot of time in hospitals. Here's a little something to keep you comfy. Your Kablammy cape? Really? Every brave daredevil needs one. You said it. Thank you, Mr. Kablammy. All right, Axel. I'm ready to rev it up and go, go, go.
after I heal, heal, heal. Take care of you. You gotta take care of you. There's more than just one holiday that can rock a cool display. Festive sights, shining lights, all ablaze for eight whole nights. So Hanukkah is here. The house is starting to look great, so let's find more to decorate. Keep the pace, make our place bright enough to see from space. So Anika is here. It sure is. Wow, now this is a festival of lights. I'm gonna need tinted windows. All right, we're almost there. Enough for both of us. You gotta find your own spot. Maybe try over there. By myself? Yes, you can do it. Just tuck in there and stay put. Okay, tuck in, stay put. Tuck in, stay put. Tuck in, stay put. Tuck in, stay put. Tuck in, st ooh, a river. Ooh, a raft. Perfect hiding spot. charge of this rescue. As Bo's roommate, I probably know the most about leading. I'll do it. That makes sense. It's all you, Flash. Cool. So, what do we do? Oh, yeah. Leader's gotta lead, right? Well, uh, the first thing we have to do is catch up to the raft. So, let's roll, Firebloods! Flash, what's the plan? <gasps> the plan? <gasps> uh, there's got to be a way to get us back to shore. Ooh, you want to play a game? I'm thinking of a number between one and five. Hint, it's four. Right. Oh, I have an idea. Maybe you can watch out for rocks while I think up a plan. Okay. There's huh? one. And another huh? one. And a big one <gasps> covered in moss. No, I mean, look out for rocks in the river that we might crash into. By myself? Ah, uh, you can do it. Just look ahead and tell me if you see any rocks coming. Got it. Look for rocks, look for rocks, look for rocks. Ooh, a sparkly fish. Ooh, a dragonfly. Ooh, a turtle. Hi, turtle. Wanna play? 
my plan is... Uh, to see if any of you have a plan? Of course we do, Jaden. Yeah, I can use my J hook to snag the rack and reel it in. Great! I just gotta make sure they're close enough. But the scope will tell me that. Tear in range. Oh, Jaden's gonna use his grappling hook. Turtle, turtle, turtle. Cow, what are you doing? Don't paddle away from them. Wait, they're moving too far away. Uh, then launch it now. <laughs> to paddle. I just wanted to play with the turtle. But I told you to look out for rocks. Oh, right. There's one. Ah! Sorry, Bo. I never watched out for rocks before. Yeah. What are you doing, Axel? Taking Iris to Metopolis Park. You want to follow us? No. Getting an ice cream truck to a park is not an emergency. Sure it is. Think of the children. Yeah, the kids need their fudge pops. And the cars need their fuel pops. <laughs> we sure do. Flash! Right. Still not an emergency! With all the traffic and fake emergencies, this mail is not gonna get delivered on time. Yeah, I'm getting tired of pulling over for no good reason. for the help. I don't know what Bo was going on about. We helped out a bunch of folks and we're at the park now so we can fly our... My kite! See, so much got <gasps> him! Hey! Oh, no! Hey! My kite! It's Riley, Riley, and Gage! They stole everyone's kites! Not quite! Stolen everyone's kites. <laughs> and the trophy. <laughs> Gotta stop him. Oh, we will. Hang on. They're gaining on a skate. The freeway on ramps just up ahead. Perfect. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to go, but up. Later, taters. Oh, no. They stole the kites so they could fly away. The trophy is what we really wanted. They're headed back to the park. We could still catch them. I'll clear the way. you moving? Because you're not using your sirens for real emergencies. You're just using them to get someone through traffic. And we've got places to go too, sweetie. But this is a real emergency. Is it? Axel, you've used your sirens so many times for non-emergencies, it's hard to know what's an emergency and what isn't. I guess I did get a little carried away. You were just trying to help people. But when you have sirens, you've got a responsibility to only use them when you absolutely have to. I'm sorry. Me too. But Wiley and Gage did just steal all the kites in the park. And they stole the trophy too. Bo, that does sound like a real emergency. Well, I'm not pulling over anymore. Thanks for the kite, kid. I guess it is a real emergency. Pull over so Axel can get my kite back. We'll all get it back. Let's roll, Firebuds. Go get him! Hit the sirens, turn on the lights! The trouble brew when do we gotta make a break? We're gearing up, we're in the groove! Our rescue crew is on the move! Our rescue crew is on the move, our crew is on the move! Our rescue crew is on the move, five us on the move! Our rescue crew is on the move, our crew is on the move! Our rescue crew is on the move, five us on the move! 
fly back to the park this time? That was my first time steering getaway kites. Okay. They're heading onto the freeway. They're probably gonna fly over the cars on their kites again. Not if we take away their kites. How are we gonna do that? With my trusty J-Kite. Filipino egg rolls. Doesn't matter what it is. I can only return it to the person who mailed it. I have to admire how she sticks to the rules. Mina! <gasps> oh, so glad we found you. You accidentally took our lumpia. Well, if it's yours, I can take a look. There it is! Easy there, I'll get it. Ow! Fire! Fire! We gotta put it out! <laughs> I'm sorry. You should put out the fire. We'll put it out. Together. Let's roll, fire buds. Just this morning, I tried to hide, but now we're fighting by your side, by side. I love riding all over town. Who knew that you were so much fun to be around? I show that to my grandson. I look at him there, I'm filled with pride. I feel like we have crossed a big divide. Cause we are from the same family, yeah. I know I've always been a mystery. Well, today I finally showed a different view. And it makes me feel, yeah. to you. I sense unsafe driving. What? Where? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I don't know how you do it, B. This road is twisty and turny and dangerous. Didn't you see the signs? 
Ooh, are there cute snails and snakes ahead? Or clouds and rivers? No, it means look out for meatballs on Spaghetti Row. Oh. No, that sign means look out for falling rocks. This is Hatchback Hill Highway. Little vehicles shouldn't be up here unless they know how to drive the proper way. But we know all about driving. We've been doing it our whole lives. Sure, but now you need to know how to drive safely because you have your roommates with you. And since safety is my specialty, I will teach you. Welcome to Pistons Driving School. That's a great idea. And while you're teaching them, we'll look after Hudson, Holly, and Heather. Thank you. You all can watch us clear the rest of the rocks and secure the nets, from a safe distance, of course. So if we take your lessons, then we can drive on Spaghetti Road? Absolutely. Whoa! <laughs> hey, P, I'm happy to be your assistant teacher if you need help wrangling these kids. Thanks, but a safety expert like me can handle a few little vehicles. Whee! I got it under control. Okay, students, time for class. Gotcha! That made it faster! Whoa! I gotta help Flash! One of these buttons must let you out! Oh, I bet it's the green one! Ugh! I'm green! Don't worry, Flash. It's just food coloring. Let's try this button. I'm pink! I'm polka dotted? Actually, I kind of dig it. Uh, nothing's working! Oh! We still need help! Us too! I don't want to be a dog treat! Hold on! I can't save everyone at the same time! Welcome to the Puppy Grub Automated Factory, where you can watch our delicious treats, made one careful step at a time. One step at a time? It's like Chef Fernando said, when you get overwhelmed, you gotta do one task at a time. It's dog treats all get made! Step by careful step, then I should finish one thing before I start the next. So first things first, it'll all be fine. I'll save my friends one task at a time. Too many things at once, gets a kid confused. To tackle things in order, that's how you help your crew. So first things first, it'll all be fine. I'll save my friends one task at a time. Popcorn, he's gonna get boxed up. Have a plan, but we gotta do it one step at a time. First, Jaden works with Piston to launch the J hook up. Then Violet hustles over to grab the hungry pup. Now, Flash can raise his ladder so they can climb inside. He hands him off to Axel, who gives them both a ride. So, first thing first, it'll all be fine. We'll save my dog one task at a time. Yeah, first things first. stretchy bands from the bungee plunge? Toes won't break. Jaden's right. And after we stop the wheel, we can inflate the J-catch and all the folks on the ride can jump safely down. I'm not sure there's enough room to set up the J-catch. There is if we hold the J-catch up over the railings. Wham, bam, perfect plan. Let's get those bungee bands. But even if we stop this thing, Caster's just gonna race off again. Why? I don't know. He says he wants the operation, but he won't go back. It doesn't make any sense. Hmm. You know, something Poe's mom told me might help you out. If you want to help a friend, here's a place to start. Try to feel what they might feel deep inside their heart. You gotta put yourself in their wheels. Casters Got up. 
but I still don't get why he would avoid an operation he needs and wants. All you need to understand, Caster's point of view will come when you imagine what he is going through. You gotta put yourself in his wheels. Try and put yourself in his wheels. Let's go, let's roll, Firebugs! Firebugs, let's roll! Ladies, gentlemen, and cars of all models, the Metopolis Movers present an evening of death. Well, wait till you see the stars of the show, Ayana Falomi and Glider Bella. <gasps> Here they come now. <laughs> She's in a wheelchair car. Mm-hmm. She has spina bifida. <gasps> she was born with a hole in her spine, too? Uh-huh, just like you. She's amazing! Let's go, let's roll, Firebugs! Firebugs, let's roll! Want a tour of Otopolis? Oh, I love this commercial. Some buses give tours on land. Some boats give tours on sea. Duke the Duck Bus does both. Let Duke the Duck Bus's family take care of you. Here comes the best part. Who can you count on over land or sea? You can count on Duke the Duck Bus. That's me. Well, that's going to be stuck in my head for the rest of the day. Not me. I don't get songs stuck in my head. It's a gift. Hi, Chef Al, Chef Fernando. I thought you might drive by. I already packed a box of food and booster shakes. <laughs> you know us too well. Thanks, Beth. What are you doing here, chefs? We're collecting food to cook up for the evacuees at the rescue shelter. Here you go. Gracias. Oh, can we come and help you? Yeah, can we? We do have a lot of folks to feed. You can go, if it's okay with your mother. Well, I believe in helping people whenever we can. But is it safe for them out there, chefs? Oh, yes, the storm's passed. Dad is there, remember? All right. Okay, you can go. Wee Congratulations. You are now food first responders. Why are we stopping at the cafe? Because many hands make the load lighter. And here come those extra hands now. Firebuds, this is Chef Babani. So these are the famous firebuds you told me all about. It's a pleasure to meet you. This is my roommate, Fran. Fran's the name. Food's the game. You buy it, I fry it. We serve healthier food, too. It's all good. You had me at food. Speaking of food, we better get to the shelter. All right, let's roll, Firebuds. <laughs> I know. It's flooding fast. If you're trying to get to the shelter, you're going to have to wait until the water goes down. Now, we got to dash. Vanessa needs a recharge. So, how will we deliver the food now? If only we could drive on water. Who can you count on over land or... No, it got stuck in my head. How did this happen? So much for your gift. But you know, Duke the Duck Bus could carry us across the water to the shelter. Duke from the TV commercials? Yeah, we can totally count on Duke. Boom, his place is just over those hills. Fantastico. I'll start cooking on the way. Let's go, let's roll, Firebugs. Firebugs, let's roll! It's time to see the coolest kids in school do the greatest stunt ever. That's right. With Rod's new Super Hops Hydraulics, we can jump over anything. Like this vehicle. Tom. Well, it's Todd, actually. Wowie zowie! How high can you jump? I bet we could jump up to the roof of the school. Higher even. Double wowie zowie! Iggy and Rod can do anything. Yes, we can, Tim. Todd, 
All right, everyone. Rod and I will now use our super hops to jump. It's the fire bus! Mr. Wexel? The mayor called with some excellent news. The Firebuds are going to do a safety presentation for us after school today. Not just any safety show, Mr. Wexel. A super safety show. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Right. Whoa. Yeah, all right. Firebuds rock. Woo -hoo! Whoa. <laughs> oh. Okay, kids, time for class. Ah, uh, we were just about to show everyone our new stunt. Well, then why don't you and Rod perform your stunt at our super safety show? And share the attention with you? No way. Okay. You know what? We should do our own show, a stunt show. Yeah, that would be way cooler than their super safety show. It'll be a super duper stunt show. It already has a better name. You said it, Rufus. That's not even close. But we'll have to do a super duper stunt. A bigger, higher jump than the school roof. With a flip. Where are you going to find a roof higher than the schools? I know just the place. The old firehouse? It looks kind of rickety. It's solid as a rock. <laughs> now let's go tell everyone about our super duper stunt show. Let's go, let's go, firebugs. Firebugs, let's go! It's time for our school play, The Three Little Rigs, the beloved children's tale about three small vehicles who try to protect their garages from the big, bad garbage truck. Mr. Wexel, can I be the director? I know how to be in charge, and I already have a megaphone. I like the enthusiasm, Bo, but I already found a director, a famous actor who will brilliantly guide this production, Iggy. Iggy? Famous? I was in that commercial on TV. You know the one. Show him, Rod. Got mud on your flaps, bugs on your glass, can't wash them out. Don't call it quits. Just lather up and scrub a scrub with rub a tub. Car wash mitts. What a performance. So, Iggy will be the director. Bo, you can be the assistant director. Everyone else, get ready to try out for the parts you want to play in the show. Hey, Bo, I'd like to try out for the part of the third rig. That's my favorite character. He proves that anyone can stand up and be a hero. My roomie is perfect for the part. He sure is. Good luck with the tryout. I've canceled tryouts. What? Huh? I already know who will be best for each part. Jaden and Piston, you two will be in charge of sets and lights. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Amy, you're the costume designer. Wowie zowie, I've already made some sketches. Violet will narrate the story. Axel will play the first little rig. Flash, the second little rig. And the heroic third little rig will be played by... my roommate, Rod. Booyah! But what about me? Well, you'll play the big, bad garbage truck, of course. Uh, Iggy? Smush actually wanted to try out for the part of the third rig. Why? He's a garbage truck. He doesn't even need a costume. I already learned the third rig song. But you're still a garbage truck, so you should play the big, bad garbage truck. See everyone tomorrow at rehearsal. Now I need you two to build me a giant ramp so Rod can swoop down onto the stage. Sorry, Smush, but at least you got a huge part. The Big Bad Garbage Truck is the villain of the show. <sighs> Trust me, I know. Two for one, for
reminds me, when we gonna eat? We're birthday buds, yeah, that's how we roll. We're just two best pals on the Foot Patrol. Twice the laughs, twice the hugs, twice the grins on our happy mugs. We're roomies for life, that's me and you. It's so cool we share a birthday too, cause we're Come in, Firebuds! It's rescue time! Oh. 